We have another initial value of uh, questions. Um, solve uh, dex t uh, y second differential, t times second differential minus fourth differential equal to t squared. And then we have the initial value conditions y of 0 is 0, y prime of 0 is, uh, is a. Okay, so uh, what do we do now? And we are told to use uh, uh, using uh, Laplace transform. Okay, so as you know, when you have differential equations, and you want to use Laplace to solve it, what do you do? Your step one is to take what? Take Laplace of the of the uh, of the equations. Okay, so that that will be equal to what? Uh, Laplace of t then minus Laplace of the, this one. And then equal to what? Laplace of what? t squared. That's step one. Then step two is to get the Equivalent, equivalent solution for those Laplace you have taken. Okay, get this, uh, get that there. Yeah. Write the Laplace that tra transform. Write the Laplace transform. And then <laughs> something strange is coming here. You're having T with second differential. What do you do? It's simple. I'll just take us to memory link where we said one of the properties that when you have a T of N, F of T, okay, when you have this Laplace of this. We said it's going to be minus one, okay, to power n, and the set, uh, the differential with respect to x of n of Laplace, Laplace of what? Of f of what? f of uh, t. Uh, that's what we said in uh, one of the video videos. Okay, so in that case now, your your f of t in this problem. Is what is second differential. Then don't forget your t here is having power one. Okay, so your equation will now become for this one. We now generate now. We now have uh, this t now will now give us minus one to power one, and then and that will be fourth differential because your n uh, your your n here is one. And that will be fourth differential. Take the x of what of uh, you can open brackets if you want to. Uh, Laplace of what? Laplace of second differential. Laplace of second differential. You can close that. Okay? You can close that. And that will be equal to what? Minus. Uh, we have expression for this. Laplace of first differential, which is what? Uh, X. Laplace of Y. Laplace of Y. Minus uh, Y of 0. Okay, that's for the fourth differential. Okay, then uh, this one is uh, that will be that will be two factorial over x three. That will be two factorial over x three equal to that. So we we'll take it step after step by step. Okay, so what we now do now, uh, we need to get the um, write this expression, which will be minus is outside there. Okay, uh, ddx. Let's write the expression for the Laplace of second differential, which will be s squared, um, Laplace of Laplace of uh, y, then minus x y over zero, then minus y prime of zero. So I'm through with that. Then I can begin to make my substitution y of zero. This is a, this is a, this automatically uh, will be a knockout. This will be knockout at zero, at that zero, and this one is what? This one is a. This one is a. So that one is a. So then we have a, a minus a minus minus. Uh, what do you have now? Uh, minus. Uh, we can, I think we can start opening this one. Uh, we can start uh, uh, this will be minus uh, minus x and a plus of y of g. Okay, and a plus of zero equal to two factorial is two over x three. And y of zero, y of zero. This one also cancel out here. So. 
Then the next thing to do is to uh, this these are uh, is to do the differentiation uh, ddx of these uh, brackets. So will be, that will be equal to minus is also outside. Okay, let's open our brackets. Uh, if you differentiate this, you keep your s constants. You differentiate uh, Laplace, and that will be what that will become prime there. Y of what? Y of t. Okay, that, that plus. Okay, then it's a product rule. This is a product rule. Then plus uh, two x. Then you take the plus uh, constant in this case. Take the plus constant in, the, in that case. Okay, and actually, if you, this one is already gone, with the y of zero, which is zero, is already cancelled out. And this is a. You have a here. So when you differentiate a constant, that will become zero. So that one is also. Uh, disappear that one has gone okay then minus what uh, minus uh, x the plus of y of t okay this one also so it's got what 2 over x3 so that's what we have now if you open the brackets here then you have minus x squared uh, the plus prime y of t and then this will be what minus 2x the plus y of t and then minus x here minus x plus of y of t equal to what? 2 over x3. Okay, and that will give us a, a minus a, a minus x squared a plus prime y of t minus 2 minus 1 and that minus 3 x and plus of a, a y of t equal to 2 over x3. Okay, then in that case now, we can divide both sides by s squared. So we have the plus one prime of this uh, equal to uh, three over I think uh, plus plus three over x plus three over x the plus of y uh, y of t uh, equal to this will be equal to two over x three uh, uh, times minus s uh, minus s squared. That will be equal to 2 over minus x power 5. The minus can go outside, it can go up. So that's what we have now. So uh, this is linear equation. This is linear equation. So we're going to use the method of linear uh, differential equation to solve it. So uh, that's linear. So, so let's, let us use a. Uh, uh, Using the what? Uh, the method of what? The methods of linear equation. Linear equation. Okay. And what we are doing here, we're just trying to, we're corresponding to this form, we're corresponding the Laplace equation to this form, uh, Q of x. That's what we are doing. So we can get the integral factor now, which will be equal to what? E uh, P of x uh, dx. And that's e equal to our p of x from that place is uh, 3 over x, uh, 3 over x dx. And that will be equal to what? e uh, ln x uh, 3. three. This 3 can come outside. Then we have it like this. And that will be equal to x3. That's the integral factor. Okay. So with this now, we can get the general solution. We can get the general solution. Yeah, we can get the general solution. And the general solution will be uh, the plus y of t equal to 1 over integral factor into brackets uh, integral x3 integral factor times q of x and q of x is what minus uh, minus 2 over x5 uh, dx plus c okay so that's that and that will be equal to 1 over x3 integral of uh, uh, so that will be equal to uh, minus 2 minus 2 this one and this one that will be over what x square uh, dx plus c okay and then we can solve this integral this minus 2 can come outside and that will be what? x minus 2 uh, dx and that will be equal to uh, minus 2 
x minus 2 plus 1 and then over what over what over minus 1 so and that will give us 2x minus 1 2x minus 1 and that's equal to 2 over x as a uh, as the integral here as that integral there so with that now we now have the a plus of this equal to uh, 1 over x3 into brackets uh, what we have inside there uh, that's uh, brackets brackets um, 2 over 2 over x uh, plus c so that's what we have 2 uh, 2 over x uh, plus c so we can open the bracket and that will be equal to this one times this one and that will be equal to um, 2 over x4 2 over x4 then plus uh, c over x3 so that's a uh, Laplace of that okay then after that the next thing we can do is to take the inverse of the Laplace take the inverse of, of the equation so then you now have y of t equal to what inverse of 2 over x4 plus c over x3 okay and that will be equal to uh, the inverse of this you can do that that will be 2 inverse of take these two outside 1 over x4 okay that's this then plus inverse of this one the c can be outside 2 and that will be what 1 over x3 so we just need to do some little adjustment for this just need to do some little adjustment for this and this will be equal to 2 inverse of since we have s4 here then we expect to have 3 factorial here okay s4 okay and since we introduced 3 factorial here we need to do that also outside so that they can cancel out okay and that will be plus inverse of this also plus here also if you can have x x to power 3 here then you expect to have 2 factorial here okay so if you introduce 2 factorial you need to cancel that out okay so then this will now give us 2 3 factorial is 6 and that will be 1 over 3 1 over 3 uh, uh, t power 3 and then plus uh, plus uh, um, uh, c over 2 and that will t uh, power 2 so that's the general solution for this uh, uh, for this uh, for this equation.